am trying to learn something new and it's really, really hard. I think I'm just not clever enough. No, 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 that's not true. You can do anything you put your mind to. Your brain might not be ready yet to do it, but your brain can grow and get stronger. In fact, your brain changes every day as you do and experience different things. We call this learning. Knowing what is happening inside your brain when you're trying to learn things can help you learn better and keep you motivated. Well, what is happening? Your brain is made up of trillions of nerve cells that we call neurons. They have very important jobs as they carry messages to different parts of your brain and the rest of your body. They must be very small if I have trillions in my head. What do they look like? Neurons are shaped differently to the other cells in your body. They have tiny branches that look a bit like a tree, and these branches help your neurons connect to each other and send messages back and forth. Every time we learn something new, your brain changes. It builds a new neuronal connection. Your brain will find another neuron to connect to so it can transmit the new message. When we learn facts or a new skill, the neurons look to make connections. They're trying to tell the story of what we're learning and experiencing. When we keep practicing, the new learning, the neurons react by communicating with each other, passing messages back and forth, and the connections get stronger and become things that we remember. Oh, is that why after you have learned something new, you need to practice it? Yes, if we practice things we find difficult, then our learning will improve. This is because the neurons associated with the task will be used much more often. Every time you practice, the brain builds stronger pathways between these neurons. This is when the learning starts to become easier for you. You can even start to do things without thinking about them. Ah, that is why we get better at things through practice and why it is important that we shouldn't give up if we find something hard. Taking on challenges helps the connection in our brain to get stronger. Think about walking in a forest where there is no path. It's really hard. It's slow. You're getting cut. But the more you walk the path, the easier it becomes because the bushes and the long grass gets trodden down. Eventually, the path becomes tarmac and it's no problem at all to pass. Learning is like this. It reminds me of the time I rode a bike. It was really hard because I had to think of lots of things. Braking, pedaling, steering, and keeping my balance, not to mention staying on the path. But the more I practiced, the easier it became. Until now, I can do it without thinking about it at all. Yes, that's because your neuronal pathways have become really secure. Your neurons have built a bike riding pathway in your brain. The only way to succeed at learning something difficult is to stick with it and to keep practicing. The more you practice, the easier it will become and the better you will become because your neuronal pathways become more secure. That's why the best footballers in the world have to still practice every day, even though they are the best. Oh, I get it. Practice makes perfect. Well, yes, practice certainly makes progress. If you want to get better at learning, practice is always necessary. Taking on challenges and things you find difficult actually makes your brain stronger. If you are challenging your brain, you have to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes when I'm learning? Of course. If you're not making mistakes, you are not learning.